London on edge right now. ISIS claiming responsibility after a homemade bomb partially detonated in a crowded subway during morning rush hour. British Prime Minister Theresa May raising the threat level for the UK now. President Trump condemning the attack and calling for action. It's a terrible thing. This keeps going and going. And we have to be very smart. We have to be very, very tough. Which perhaps we're not nearly tough enough. But that is just an absolutely terrible thing. In fact, I'm going to call the Prime Minister right now. So this was after the president's immediate response on Twitter, quote, another attack in London by loser terrorists. These are sick and demented people who were in the sights of Scotland Yard, must be proactive. Here now is Zudi Jasser, American Islamic Forum for Democracy founder. What's your reaction to the president's response? Well, I think he's giving an appropriate response, which is that we are at war and we need to respond with force. They are losers. And uh, we, there are so many of these that have been on the radar. We know that even though uh, he may not have specific details, Scotland Yard pushed back and said, you know, if you have information, share it. But the bottom line is it's not that far to guess. There are 500 open cases in the UK with 3,000 individuals, and they've already identified 20,000 at-risk individuals with many who've traveled back and forth. So bottom line is, is that we're in a state of war. This bomb went off uh, actually prematurely, didn't go off completely, and it wasn't a suicide operation, which is why there's an imminent threat right now and why Brits really need to be alert to see something, say something. I mean, it's amazing. It's the fifth terror attack in the U.K. this year so far. It really seems like the tempo has picked up, and it's almost as if it's become the new normal. We, Melissa, if there's one thing I want people to understand, we cannot let this be the new normal. It's been the worst summer since 9-11 for the Brits, for the, Euro, for the Europeans, and for America. Why? Because we aren't treating the disease. We finally have a president that's taking the war to ISIS, that's letting our DOD attack them uh, in Raqqa, in northern Iraq, and they're on the verge of extermination. But the ideology will not be exterminated until we Muslims have a reform movement, until we shift the axis of focus of countering violent extremism, which is a whack-a-mole program, to countering violent Islamism, which is an ideology. And we haven't even done that yet, which is why we're seeing the sonic boom, which is as you start to decimate ISIS, they will start to act out, which is why ISIS was quick to take credit only a few hours ago. So how do you take that action that you described? The president needs to convene his commission on radical Islam. He needs to begin to engage Muslim reformers and marginalize the Islamists. We're actually hearing that the old uh, swamp is still active in Washington, the Islamist Muslim Brotherhood groups that are being given attention, while us reformers aren't. I hope the Brits also, as they see now four recent attacks, uh, I hope they're beginning to engage more of the anti-Islamists, those who aren't only against terror, but are against the ideology and that acknowledge we need reform, that this is a long process. This is a long war of this whole generation that is going to need the beginning of a journey that is not going to have to just be one terror attack to the next, but an ideological yeah. process of where we are in the House of Islam right now. No, it's so hard. And when he wades into that territory, immediately people are shouting racist. It's just very hard to get near there. But Zudi, we, we've heard you loud and clear, and, and I'm sure you're right. Thank you so much for coming on today. Keep it up. Thank you. Thanks, Melissa. Anytime.